I'm Kelly Sherrill, I'm the Western Peace Platinum Region Director of PTA, representing 205 PTA units and 5,000 members. I also happen to be a Yonkers parent with our 39 PTAs. Uh, Yonkers, Yonkers is the only one of the big five that has a charter active PTA in every single school, and a lot of that credit, of course, to our strong superintendent who supports us. I am a little nervous, so forgive me. Um, I also was asked by New York State PTA to come here and represent them. So just very quickly on teaching and principal quality. We do, of course, uh, support a strong effective evaluation <coughs> that identifies a teacher's strengths and weaknesses, but it is the dependency on state test to aid in this evaluation that we are very skeptical, as was said earlier by Jen Hiroshima. Uh, we also want to make sure that building quality professional judgment skills among those who observe and evaluate teachers or principals, however, should be central to the APP, APPR process. And then we're hoping that we can be proactive with some of the issues that we see coming down the pipe from all of these conversations before they actually have a negative impact on our students. On the topic of family engagement, we of course believe that our parents are our ch children's <coughs> primary advocates and that effective pet family engagement in schools is essential to providing the children the same quality education that they are entitled. We want to move beyond parental involvement that consists primarily of information sharing to, sharing to full engagement that is based on meaningful two-way conversation and communication between the school and the caregivers. I believe that in an urban district, I am a Yonkers parent, that family engagement is the absolute key to our children's success. Making our parents aware of how important it is to become involved in the basic ways that they can support their children every single day, reading to their children, getting their children the assistance that they need, learning how to navigate um, programs and policies, learning how to navigate systems, learn, and for us to communicate back to them in their native languages um, is key to supporting our families and our children. Westchester East Putnam is probably the New York State PTA's most diverse region socioeconomically. Our PTAs are in Chapel Ponds, Forestdale, and Byron Hills, as well as Yonkers, Mount Vernon, and Fort Chester. Um, our urban populations simply don't look like what the formula states our wealth is in Westchester, and our wealthier districts who receive very little aid no longer have control to meet the needs of their districts by raising taxes. The needs in an urban district are costly, and our families do not have the means or the ability to supply what the wealthier district students have. Our families are impoverished and struggling to put food on the table. Sometimes even owning a home is the challenge in our urban districts. The you office know, has identified 828 families that are using their public schools, and so I believe that identifying needs in our urban districts and, and targeting those solutions is uh, hopeful to be a key for this commission. I'd be remiss, of course, that, to say that all of our affluent districts are extremely concerned about their own five-year projections in their home districts in the lack of, with the lack of local control under the property tax cap. I've been able to talk to our, um, as region director, I've been able to discuss this with our districts and talking to them about what's happened in Yonkers, and we've already heard from them, and I know a lot, that you know a lot about it, um, I get to educate them on what true cuts actually look like. And they are all afraid of what's happening in the office as being the annual belt tightening and that this is going to, um, this is what they're going to start to look like from five to 10 years from now under the property tax cap. In the office, class sizes are no less than 30. There's no sports, there's no art, there's no music, there's no instrumental music. My son is a seventh grader. He will not see an instrument, he will not see um, sports until the 11th grade. Out of 12,000 high school students, only 1,100 will see a sport. Um, there are no bands left. There are nine high schools. There are only two bands left, and there's nobody feeding into those bands, so we're looking at no music in a few more years. There are only 16 psychologists for 27,000 children in 40 different schools, so there's a lack of support personnel. There's only two guidance counselors in each high school. Now I say that, of course, knowing that my son is in an excellent school with excellent teachers that stand in front of him. However, it's all of the support personnel that we are hurt, um, that we are hurting. So, um, our, as you heard also, our district enrollment is growing annually, and yet the funding has not increased to match the growth that begs the question, is the funding formula truly per people based? Um, 
again, this is where Yonkers stands, as does many of our urban districts, Mount Vernon and Port Chester also, so we are hopeful that this commission will be able to address the needs of the entire state before this happens to everyone. Thank you. Thank you.